Welcome to Investigating the Universe. Today we delve into an intriguing topic, the consciousness of the universe. Consciousness as we understand it, is often associated with living beings. It's the state of being aware of and able to think and perceive, a unique characteristic that sets us apart. But what if we broaden our perspective? What if we consider the universe not just as a vast expanse of inanimate matter, but as a conscious entity? Today, we explore the question, is the universe itself conscious? Dive into the world of panpsychism, a philosophical theory suggesting that all matter has consciousness. Let's travel back in time to the roots of this fascinating theory. Panpsychism, from the Greek words pan, meaning all, and psyche, meaning soul or mind, has its origins in ancient philosophical traditions. Thinkers like Plato and Spinoza were among its early proponents, seeing consciousness as a fundamental aspect of existence. Fast forward to the modern era, and you'll find contemporary philosophers like David Chalmers and Galen Strawson breathing new life into panpsychism. They argue that consciousness isn't exclusive to humans or higher animals, but is instead a basic feature of all matter. So how does this apply to our universe? Well, if panpsychism holds true, then every particle, every atom and every star in our cosmos possesses its own form of consciousness. Yes, you heard it right. This means your morning coffee, the chair you're sitting on, and even the device you're currently using, all have some level of consciousness. Now, this doesn't mean that these inanimate objects are having existential crises or pondering the meaning of life. Instead, panpsychism suggests they have a basic form of experience or proto-consciousness. It's more about feeling or experiencing rather than thinking or reasoning. So what does this imply? Well, it challenges our traditional understanding of consciousness and forces us to reconsider our place in the universe. If consciousness is not a unique feature of humans, but an inherent property of all matter, then we are not isolated beings in a lifeless universe. Instead, we are part of a deeply interconnected web of conscious entities, spanning from the smallest particles to the vast cosmos. But it's not without its critics. Some argue that panpsychism is more of a metaphysical claim than a scientific theory, as it's currently impossible to empirically test or verify. Imagine a universe where every particle is conscious. A fascinating concept, isn't it? Now, let's venture into the realm of quantum mechanics. Welcome to a world that, at its core, is governed by principles so strange that they seem to defy our everyday experiences. Here we encounter the theory of quantum consciousness. This intriguing concept suggests that consciousness is not merely a product of complex computation within the brain. Instead, it might be a fundamental feature of the universe itself, deeply rooted in the bizarre world of quantum physics. Quantum mechanics operates on a scale so tiny that it's almost unimaginable. We're talking about the world of atoms and subatomic particles, yet the effects of quantum physics reach far beyond this microscopic realm. They can have profound implications for our understanding of mind and matter, of consciousness and the cosmos. One of the key principles of quantum theory is the idea of superposition. This means that a quantum particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously until it's observed or measured. Some theorists speculate that consciousness arises from the collapse of these quantum states. This idea, known as the orchestrated objective reduction theory, suggests that our conscious experiences are the result of quantum processes within the neurons of our brains. But the quantum consciousness theory doesn't stop at the human brain. It also proposes that the universe itself might be conscious. In this view, the cosmos is a vast, interconnected web of quantum information, a kind of cosmic mind. This theory can be a bit mind-boggling, but it's a fascinating way to think about the universe and our place within it. Remember, these are speculative ideas. They push the boundaries of our understanding, and they're not without controversy. But they also inspire us to question, to explore, and to seek out new ways of understanding the mysterious connection between mind and matter between consciousness and the cosmos. Quantum consciousness, a theory that weaves together the microscopic and macroscopic world in a cohesive narrative. Ever considered if we're living in a simulation? 
a fascinating question that has stirred the minds of philosophers and scientists alike. The simulation theory suggests that our reality, as we perceive it, might be a highly sophisticated simulation. This idea, while it may sound like a plot from a science fiction movie, is actually a serious proposition explored within the realm of theoretical physics and philosophy. Imagine for a moment, a civilization advanced enough to create a simulation which emulates the entire universe. Every star, every planet, every atom, all the laws of physics, all simulated in an ultra-powerful supercomputer. If such a simulation were possible, the beings within it, that's us, would have no way of knowing that their reality is not the base reality. But what does this have to do with a conscious universe? Well, if we entertain the idea of a simulated universe, we need to consider the implications of such a concept. If our universe is a simulation, then it is conceivable that every aspect of it, including consciousness, is a part of that simulation. Thus, the universe itself could be considered conscious, as it is the product of a conscious entity that created the simulation. Moreover, if we're in a simulation, then consciousness might not be a unique property of biological organisms like us. Instead, it could be a fundamental feature of the universe, woven into the very fabric of the simulation. This notion, in a way, aligns with the concepts of panpsychism and quantum consciousness that we discussed earlier. However, it's important to note that the simulation theory, while intriguing, is still just that, a theory. It's a mind-bending proposition that sparks fascinating debates, but remains unproven. As we continue to explore and understand the mysteries of our universe, who knows what revelations await us? A simulated universe, while unnerving, opens up a whole new perspective on consciousness. In the next segment, we'll delve into another thought-provoking concept, the universe as a self-organizing system. Stay tuned! Now think about the universe as a self-organizing system. Imagine a vast cosmic network where galaxies, stars, planets, and all matter naturally arrange themselves into complex structures. This is the concept of the universe as a self-organizing system, a theory that's been gaining traction among scientists and philosophers alike. Let's break it down. A self-organizing system is one that spontaneously orders itself without any external guidance. Think of a flock of birds moving in unison, or a colony of ants building an intricate anthill. These systems exhibit a form of emergent behavior, where the whole is greater and often more complex than the sum of its parts. The universe, in its grandeur, could be seen as the ultimate self-organizing system. From galaxies forming to stars being born and dying, to the evolution of life itself, it's all part of an intricate dance of order emerging from chaos. But what does this have to do with consciousness? Well, some scientists and philosophers argue that if the universe is indeed self-organizing, it might possess a form of cosmic consciousness. They suggest that just as a human brain, a self-organizing system of neurons generates human consciousness, so too could the universe generate its own form of awareness. This is not to say that the universe is a giant brain, or that it ponders its existence. Rather, it suggests that the universe may have a rudimentary form of awareness, a fundamental mind, that arises from the complex interplay of matter and energy. This perspective has profound implications. It challenges our understanding of consciousness, suggesting it's not exclusive to biological organisms. It also gives rise to a sense of interconnectedness, a realization that we are not separate from the universe, but an integral part of this vast, possibly conscious cosmic network. A self-organizing universe, a concept that challenges our understanding of consciousness. So, is the universe conscious? The verdict is still out. We've delved deep into some intriguing theories throughout this exploration. The panpsychism theory, which suggests that consciousness, in some form, is a fundamental aspect of the universe. The quantum consciousness theory, proposing that consciousness arises from quantum processes within the brain. The simulation theory, hinting at the possibility that our universe could be a sophisticated simulation. And finally, the self-organizing system theory, which views the universe as a self-organizing entity. 
potentially possessing a form of consciousness. Each theory brings with it its own unique perspectives and thought-provoking questions, none of which we can conclusively answer yet. But isn't that the beauty of scientific inquiry? The constant quest for knowledge, the undying curiosity, the joy of unraveling the mysteries of the universe, these are the things that keep us going. We encourage you to dive into these theories deeper, scrutinize them, question them, and perhaps even formulate your own theories. Whether you're a physicist, a philosopher, a curious mind, or a dreamer, the question of universal consciousness offers a fascinating playground for your thoughts. Remember, we are but tiny specks in this vast cosmos, and there's so much more to explore. The universe, with its enigmatic charm, continues to surprise us, confound us and inspire us. Our understanding of it is continually evolving, and who knows what incredible revelations await us in the future. Remember, the universe is vast and mysterious, and there's so much more to explore. That's all for today's investigation into the universe's consciousness. If this piqued your curiosity, consider subscribing to Investigating the Universe. Give this video a like and share it around to inspire others. Join us again as we continue investigating the universe. Until then, keep exploring.